what's good people welcome back to the channel today we're going to be covering this sick glowing eyes effect that you see in a lot of music videos like this one i'm gonna show you how to do it exactly for free and with a sick plugin to make it look even better so no more talk here's the effect it's decent isn't it so let's just get straight into how to make it Bow. So first thing you need to do is have your clip with the person's eyes you want to mask out. I'm going to be masking out V9's eyes here. So all I'm going to do is go into this clip, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Now go onto your new Ctrl D layer and now select the rotoscope. So I'm not going to show you guys how to rotoscope. It takes time. It may be easy, but it takes time and it's just tedious in it. So there are plenty of tutorials online if you don't know how to do that. So all I'm going to do is rotoscope out his eyes. Let me speed run through that real quick. This is what I've got. I've masked out his eyes and I've added a bit of feather just around, let's say, for a round number, let's put 10, okay? So that's his eyes masked out. Now all you need to do, have both layers on. So for the zero plugin method, it's actually really easy. All you got to do is first add tint, just this one here. And then after that, you need to add one more thing, just the standard stock glow, okay? You're not going to get it looking as good as the next version I'm going to show you, but if you're working on a budget, which is zero, this is completely fine. Okay, so on your tint, you can see the map white too. So click on that and choose whatever color you'd like. As you can see, it's already changing. I'm going to put mine to any color, but I'm going to put it to red because it matches the video. Then on the glow, all you need to do is zoom in so you can see what you're doing. Then go on to glow threshold, bring it down until it covers the area you need it to. Also have your thing on full resolution so you can see what you're doing. All these corners and shit, we're gonna fix that in a second. So first thing, get your glow radius, bring it up until you find a value you like. If it's too, like, not as bright as you want it to be, you can always make it higher with glow intensity. But look, it doesn't do anything past around that 1% mark. So change it to your liking. In this case, I'm gonna keep it around the one mark, 1%. The glow radius, I'm just gonna bring it down until it has a slight little ring, but nothing too much to where it takes away from the effect. So I'm say, just around there is fine for me. But you can see we still got them edges. So how do we fix that? It's real simple in this case because since we're using the stock plugins, the feather makes the effect a lot more different. So all you gotta do is simply make your feather zero. But if that's too jagged for you, you can always do it around maybe one. So from, from close, it looks a bit weird, but when you go back, that's completely fine. You can't even notice. So that's good enough. That's pretty good for the free version, but now, Let's get to the real deal, the deep glow version. Hey, but hold on a minute. I just realized more than 8% of you lot aren't even subscribed to the channel. I'd really appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. Help me keep this channel running. So yeah, man, let's get straight back into it. Okay, so for this version, what we're going to be looking at is using the deep glow effect. It's a pay plugin. It costs about maybe 20 bucks, I think. It's a very good investment. I use it on nearly all of my VFX projects. So now let's get into how to do it. Simply add the deep glow plugin. And then you're going to see this come up instantly. It's already better. Like, you can't even chat to me. That's instantly already better. Now let's start adding the tint and everything. So go down to tint over here on the menu. Press enable. Mine's already set on red. Yours will be too. And now it's looking a bit whitish. That's fine. All you need to do now is go over to exposure and lift it up. Okay. As you can see, that's working the magic. I'm going to bring the radius down a little bit just around there. It's all right. I don't think that's too bad. But there's one thing. As you can see... On the other one, we had to use a feather of one. It looks a bit jagged in this. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to lift it up to around maybe nine or ten. It makes everything a lot smoother looking and makes the glow look a lot more rounded and less jagged. So instantly, you can see how much better this looks than the original version. So if you have deep glow, this is the best option for you. If you don't have deep glow, I highly recommend you get it as soon as possible if you can afford it. Because it seriously, it's been one of the best plugins I've used in a very long time. So yeah, man, that's pretty much it. A really simple tutorial. Here are the final versions of both of them side by side. You can really see the clear difference, right? Yo, so we've come to the end of another beginner tutorial. Hope you lot enjoyed it. More importantly, I hope you learned something. So yeah, man, have a good day, night, whatever's going on your sides. And yeah, that's it. Safe.